Hi, my name is Scott Heron and welcome to this video where I'm going to be discussing copyback on the initial small grip track exam by Trinity College London. My students love this exam and this is the sight reading option of the exam. You have the option of going for improvisation or sight reading. So I would usually steer my students towards the copy back option. So how does it work? Good question. So the exam is for two to four students. So um, the examiner will allocate a part to all of the players and he will use a backing track, which is very, very similar to the backing tracks in the book from one of the pieces or, you know, in, in the style of one of the pieces that, that are in the book. Um, but the notes that you get will be uh, different to the, the actual book itself. So you cannot bring this book. It would not be beneficial for you to bring this book into the exam with you. It would do you absolutely no good because it is sight reading. The the pieces on this um, in the music will be of the same standard. Um, so, uh, but the notes will be all jumbled up and the rhythms will be different. However, there are some similarities. Um, you will get the standard sort of open and first finger notes um, and uh, third finger notes uh, on the uh, D string and the A string. You'll also get open E. There aren't any open Gs. And the only extended second finger that you get is extended second finger F sharp in the D string. So that's there. There. Um, it, that's an example one. Now, in copy back example two, the good news is uh, you have all of those notes except there are no second fingers at all. So in actual fact, copy back two is a little bit easier. So the, the main note you've got to really watch out for is extended second finger F sharp. So there's first finger, there's close second finger, there's extended second finger. So that's extended second finger F sharp. There, so that's the note that you need to use. So whenever you practice this, in your grip, it's a really, really good idea to play in a different order, you know, just to mix it up so you get used to, uh, you get used to that. Um, because the, the examiner, you just don't know what order the examiner is going to ask you to play in. You could be first, you could be fourth. It just depends. So, um, how does it work? What is the, what's the format of the music? Well, there are four phrases which are two bars long. So what happens is the CD plays twice and then you copy back what you've just heard the CD play. Uh, so you'll see that there's a little repeat sign there. So you copy what you've heard the CD play. So remember the CD starts and then you copy back or you repeat what you've just heard the, violin, uh, the, the CD play. So that happens four times and the, the CD runs continuously all the way through. At the end of your little extract, um, before the, the second candidate plays, there will be a two bar click. So it's gonna go click, 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 click and then this, the next candidate will come in. So there's always a two bar link in between each candidate. Now, just say there were, there were three people in your exam it's up to four, but just say there are three people in your group. As soon as the, the last person has played, in this case, the third person, the examiner will stop the CD. So even though the CD will go on for a fourth time, um, he is going to stop it after the third time. So that's the, that's the basic format. So it's really important that you are really switched on and you're concentrating and you're focusing. And if you're the fourth person in the exam, that's a little bit harder in a way than, than if you're first. I think I would prefer being first because it means you get it out of the way. And after you've done your bit, you can just relax and you don't need to read the music or follow it at all. Unlike the pieces, um, the, the, um, the pieces in the book.
So it's really important, especially if you're second, third or fourth, that you, you track exactly where the other people have been playing so you know exactly where you have to come in. So um, one bit of good news is that the rhythms are very, very easy peasy. So you either have crotchets, which are worth one count each, or minims worth two counts each. So sometimes you'll get a whole bar crotchet, sometimes you'll get two crotchets and a minim, sometimes you'll get minim and two crotchets, but those are the only rhythms that you'll get throughout the whole piece. Sometimes you get two minims in a row, so the rhythms are really easy peasy, lemon squeezy, um, as are the notes. So um, my students really, really uh, like this, this option a lot. And uh, it's great for reinforcing your, uh, your note knowledge as well. I should also say that before you start playing, you will be given 30 seconds to play through whatever part the examiner has allocated to you. So whenever you do that, uh, play it out, you know, and the other thing is, uh, you know, don't be too mousy about it, you know? you know, play it out. The examiner will be expecting you to practice it. Um, home in on any difficult notes that you're not sure about, you know, particularly those F sharps, extended second figure F sharps that sometimes put people off. Um, what else? Um, yeah. Watch out for the rhythms, just like over the rhythms. Um, and that's, yep, that's about it in that respect. Then um, what will happen is you get a playthrough. So, so you do the whole test once, um, just as a practice test, which is fantastic. That is just wonderful. Um, so in that, in, that, in that time, you get a chance, you can make a mistake, if. Um, and you won't get penalized for it, which is fantastic. So try and make a mental note of any little notes throughout the piece that sound a little bit off, or a little bit strange, or you know, um, don't quite sound the same as the CD. And whenever you do it the second time round, try and get it right. Um, so then you'll get, then after you've done the practice, uh, practice go, you'll get to do it um, um, as an assessment. So the examiner will be listening very intently and making notes while you're playing. And of course you're going to get it all right because you've already had 30 seconds to look over it and you've also had a practice test. So you'll be fine. You'll be fine. And hopefully at that stage you'll know all your notes really, really well. So, I mean, how many notes are there? Open, one, two, three. So that's open to that's four then five six seven eight so there's only eight notes that you really need to know you know for example one and then in example two you don't even there's actually only seven notes because you don't need to know any second finger notes so there's eight notes you've got to know so that's doable so all right well let's just jump straight into it then so this is um, example one we're doing right now. Okay, so there's going to be a little click and then we're going to come in. So I'm going to play all four parts. Okay, I'll shout them out for you. So you, whenever you're at home, please join in with me and play all the four parts. You know, rather than, you know, just playing, you know, the first part, play all of it with me just to get the experience and to get as many run throughs as you can. But it will be different in the exam. So here we go. So it's in four, one, two. Don't play, it's the CD. Remember, it's the CD. Listen really intently. Copy what you hear. Copy back. <laughs> nice big solid sound. Nice big sound. Look how much boy I'm using. Uh... End of the notes. Try and look confident, even if you don't feel confident. Go for it. Lots of bow, whole bows, all the way from the heel to the tip. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Candidate two. 
Okay, so Sadie, now it's your turn. <laughs> Nice big wish at the end. Nice big tone. Go on. Bars, link in between candidate two and three, candidate three, CD this time. Okay, so it's your turn to play. So candidate four, hope you're following this very carefully. Look how much bow I use for the minims. About half a bow for each one of those cro uh, each one of the crotchets. Whole bows for the minims. Uh, push yourself. Uh, whoosh. Two, three, four, one. Here's candidate four, the CD now. See, I've had lots of time to get the first couple of notes ready and to work out what string you're playing on. Everybody else is being really, really quiet while you play, being very considerate. Enjoy it, enjoy the lovely open strings. Uh, that's an easy peasy note. I'm finished with a whoosh. Bravo! You've aced your exam. And there you go. Didn't you enjoy that? Well done. Well done. So it's easy as that. It's as easy as that. So this is copy back two now. Canada one. It's really happy, isn't it? It's got a lovely vibe to it, doesn't it? This fun, really fun exam. Go and show off what you know and have fun. Move your body. Okay, it's going to be candidate two coming up. Candidate two is the CD. Remember, not don't play the first time. Here we go. The big wish at the end, be confident. So I took my hour for the music there, bad idea. Keep your eyes on the music. Okay, this is counted at three now. Yeah, man. 
And that's it. Wow, that was good fun. So, I wish you all the very best for the exam. I hope that you ace this exam. It's really good fun. You've only got to learn eight notes. It's easy peasy, you can do it. My, my students take about, about a year to prepare for this exam. You're gonna know your notes inside out. Um, if, if you do, you, this is not gonna be a problem for you. And it's really, really good fun. And we have really good crack um, in the lessons um, playing this. People really like it. So, and make sure that you that you um, you mix it up, that every single time you do it, you play a different a different part so that you learn to be flexible whenever you get into the exam. And uh, it's easier said than done, but do try and enjoy it. And um, and hopefully, I, I hope that whenever you get into the exam, you'll look at the music and, and whenever you get it for the first time and you'll go, this is really, really easy. You know, and I, uh, I hope that that's the case for you. If you know those eight notes, that this should be um, a, a breeze for you. So I wish you all the very best uh, for for your exam. So if you've um, if you've enjoyed this video and find it helpful, please give me a subscribe and give me a wee like, a little cheeky like, and um, watch some of my other videos and share this videos with your friends. And most of all, ace that exam. Tittle pip.